Hey peeps, in today's video we'll show you three different laser engraver project ideas using cork.
Okay, so we're using this 20 by 30 cork foam board. And for some reason that clicking noise continues through this clip. So what we're saying here is this is the foam board and I quote that we're going to go ahead and engrave this map on. Now what I did in this design is break it into six sections because it's kind of big and we won't be able to get it in one pass. And I'm going to utilize the print and cut feature in Lightburn in order to kind of line things up. So in order to do that, I'm going to be putting some tape down to put hash marks, and then I'm going to be removing that tape while we get the engraving done once I have it aligned. So you'll see that process here in a minute. Okay, so part one is finished and it turned out really nice. Now that we're done with this first section, the reason we put this tape down is to protect the cork for these cross hatches that I'm gonna be using as reference points for part two of this project. So now what we need to do is move the cork board roughly into the next place, which is gonna be right here. And we can get to engraving the second part and setting up the engraving for that. Okay, so here's part of the process. I have my tape down with two cross hatches, you can see there and there, and I'm gonna be using the light burn to kind of control where these are in space to kind of make sure that we have a seamless gap and we have a good joining there. So in order to tell light burn where we're at right now, I'm gonna go ahead and select our cross hatch that we're on, and I'm gonna to go to laser tools, print and cut, and I'm gonna set the first target position. And you can see it kind of draws a circle around that. And then the next thing I need to do is I need to get it to this position here and tell Lightburn that's where it's at. So I need to move the laser down to the second crosshatch. So now that we have the laser head exactly on the second crosshatch, we're gonna tell Lightburn where it is in space so that it can join up the second part of the engraving. And to do that, I'm gonna select our second crosshatch. I'm gonna go back into laser tools, print and cut, and set the second target position. And I'm gonna align the output to targets. And now you can see right here, it says ready and print and cut. So it's using these target areas as the reference points of where it is in space. 